now hello everyone today i will discuss exercise for session 2 for iit j foundation batch okay in previous lecture i will discuss i, will, I, I have already discussed 1 to 13 1 to 12 question so now in this lecture we, i will discuss 13 to 17 question okay basically this is the part 3 for exercise for session 2 okay that is substitution method we have discussed very comprehensively way. if any doubt then comment it i will discuss again okay now we have question number 13 okay. that question is given integration of it did that question is very easy sin alpha sin alpha is basically constant so right now here sin x minus alpha into dx plus here integration of if multiply and divided by 2 then we got 2 sin square x by 2 minus alpha into dx that is sin alpha sin of x minus alpha dx that one is written 1 by 2 cos of 1 minus cos of 2 alpha 2 theta so 2 into x by 2 so basically direct i will written x minus 2 alpha into dx clear or not now after that integration of that one minus sin alpha integration of sin alpha is minus cos alpha that's why minus written cos x minus alpha plus 1 by 2 integration of 1 that is x minus 1 by 2 integration of cos that is sin alpha sin x sin x minus 2 alpha plus c okay this is the final answer if end out and comment it okay clear or not now question number 14 if you see very carefully here using basically formula sin a minus sin b that formula is 2 cos a plus b by 2 into sin of a minus b divided by 2 ok clear here a this be equal to 5x and b this be equal to 3x then sin 5x minus sin 3x is written as 2 cos of 5x plus 3x whole divided by 2 into sin of 5x minus 3x whole divided by 2 that one is 2 cos that is 4x and that one is sin x clear or not okay so after that sin 2x plus that one is written as 2 cos 4x into sin x that is cos x and 1 minus 2 sin square x is written as that is cos of 4x dx clear now after that sin 2x is written as 2 sin x into cos x here 2 sin x into cos of 4x whole divided by cos x plus cos 4x into dx now after that 2 is common and also sin x is also common then cos x 
कॉस फोर एक्स होल डिवाइड बाई कॉस एक्स कॉस फोर एक्स इंटू डी एक्स एंड दैट वन दैट इज साइन एक्स डी एक्स सो दैट इज टू माइनस टू कॉस एक्स प्लस सी इज द फाइनल आंसर ओके दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन ओके ना क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन हाउ कैन डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू सी वेर केयरफुली कॉस के पावर फोर एक्स डेट वन इज रिटर्न एज टू होल स्क्वायर माइनस डेट वन इज ऑल्सो रिटर्न एज लाइक डेट वन होल डिवाइड बाय दिस वन इज रूट कॉस टू होल स्क्वायर डी एक्स आफ्टर दैट ओके एंड दैट वन इज रिटर्न प्लस होल डिवाइड बाई दैट वन इज रूट टू कॉस टू एक्स डी एक्स आफ्टर दैट दैट वन इज ऑल्सो रूट कॉस टू एक्स एंड दैट वन इज ऑल्सो सो वन बाय रूट टू दैट इज वन इंटू डी एक्स so 1 by root 2 dx so basically x by root 2 is the final answer clear or not make it now next question 5 to power log of x at base so first of all solve this one i know that a to power log b at base e is written as b to power log a at base e clear so you can use this formula use prod log property integration of x के पावर लॉग फाइव एट बेस e dx एक्स सो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दैट वन इज लॉग फाइव एट बेस e प्लस वन होल डिवाइड बाय लॉग फाइव एट बेस e प्लस वन प्लस c इज द राइट आंसर क्लियर और नॉट यूजिंग लॉग प्रॉपर्टी Now, according to question, question say two to power log x x like that one, and they, this one is also written as two to power log x at base two to whole power two dx. Okay, using here log property log x at base b to power n. is written as 1 by n into log x at base b clear so if using that that property then we got 2 to power 1 by 2 log x at base 2 clear or not okay now after that that one is also written as integration of 2 to power log x ke power a root x to base 2 and dx again using here log property a to power log b at base a that one is written as b okay so simply using this property here then we got that is root x dx so root x means 1 x power 1 by 2 dx simply 
थ्री बाई टू डिवाइड बाई थ्री बाई टू प्लस ई सो टू बाई थ्री प्लस सी इज द राइट आंसर ओके दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटीन एंड दैट वन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन एंड दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन एंड दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन ओके